What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to get the best performance out of Borderlands 4. Obviously, it's an Unreal Engine 5 game on release. The performance isn't the best, so without further ado, let's quickly get into it. This guide's not going to cover Windows optimization at all. Instead, you'll find links down below to get more performance from your system. That being said, the one thing you definitely should do with a new game's release is update your graphics card's drivers. So head across to NVIDIA, Intel, or AMD's website and do so. Once you've done so, before you actually launch up the game, I would also recommend inside of Steam or wherever you own it, simply right click the game, choose properties, and under general launch options, I'd highly recommend adding the launch options down below. This one is just hyphen no startup movies to skip the intro whenever you boot up the game. That's it. Obviously, there are quite a few bugs and things like that that are going to be sorted out at some stage in the future, but for now at least, we can optimize for some better performance as throughout the intro and general gameplay I've seen 40 to 50 FPS with it only really seeing a big rise now to a pad. 60. So that's not the best. Obviously, at 1080p with a 4080, things could definitely be way better. So without further ado, let's begin. Pause your game, head across to options on the far left, and at the very top, visuals. On the basic tab, display mode should be set to full screen or windowed full screen. There shouldn't be too much of a difference here. Resolution should match your display all the time. If it's 4K, 2K, or 1080p, set it here to match. Display stats, you can enable FPS or all. Apply settings, which should show quite a bit more info in the top right of your screen. Obviously, I'm using Rivet Unit to get a much better display, but of course, Steam has their built-in overlay, which you'll find a link for down below. It's actually really, really powerful. I'll leave this on all just for now. Limit frame rate should be set to off unless you're playing handheld or on battery and you'd like to conserve extra battery power. After optimizing, you can cap your FPS to 60 or something like that, and it should help create less heat, use less battery power, etc. V-Sync should definitely be turned off unless you're getting screen tearing. And finally, field of view and vehicle field of view are your preference. Set them as you see fit, even though they do technically affect performance. Then on the advanced tab at the very top, here we can get a couple of different graphics presets. I'll quickly show you the differences. Everything's loaded in about 75, 76, maybe 80 FPS. Moving it up to medium, there's a huge drop to 65 FPS, up to high 55, very high 43, and finally badass, which leaves me at a solid 30 FPS, again at 1080p with a 4080. So this game is definitely very demanding to say the least, and you'll obviously be playing on anything but the highest option. Usually I'd recommend starting off at low and working your way up, which is what I'll be doing here. So from a base FPS of about 76, which is more than playable, under resolution scaling, TSR does look pretty okay, but preferably use DLSS or FSR. DLSS is obviously only available on NVIDIA GPUs. FSR can be used anywhere though. Full resolution means that you're applying anti-aliasing on top of a native resolution gameplay, so things should look extra crispy. Now moving from TSR to DLSS, I assume puts more workload on my GPU instead of the CPU or something along those lines, and we've already jumped up to 86 FPS, which is great. Upscaling quality, if we push it down to quality, for example, we should see a big boost in performance, and we definitely do. We're now setting at 110, which is fantastic. If you were to drop this to balanced or even performance on most systems, at higher than 1080p that is, so 2K or 4K, you can see a massive improvement in performance with a minimal drop to quality, but at 1080p, I'd probably stick to quality, maybe balanced at worst. Obviously, beyond a certain point, you're not going to be getting too many extra FPS, but you will notice some weird visual artifacts. Spatial upscaling quality only seems to be available with TSR, but as I'm using DLSS, I'll skip over that. You'll need to play around with that to see what works on your system. Scene capture quality affects the quality of your map and inventory menus, and for the most part, full resolution here should be fine. Frame generation, I definitely recommend leaving off, even though it does give you some extra FPS, for example, from 110 to 170, you should feel a bit of input latency and things like that if you're struggling to reach 60 FPS. That being said, if you're comfortably over, say, 80 to 100, you're going to feel much less input latency, but there's definitely a noticeable difference, and obviously things should feel really buttery smooth. For the most part, 
not though, I'd recommend frame generation turned off. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, NVIDIA Reflex low latency should definitely be set to on or on plus boost. Well, I guess it's just boost here. If you have a CPU limited system, otherwise on is more than fine. Then moving down here, there's a ton of different options, but for the most part, you can only really raise texture quality, I'd recommend. If you barely meet the minimum system requirements, which is a 2070, which are mostly, I would think, 8K graphics cards, if you've got anything below that, low is probably all that you can do here. Even on 8K GPUs, medium, or maybe even high, should be fine to use, but anything with 12 or above gigs of VRAM, I'd recommend very high, just for a quick boost in environmental quality once everything loads in. This should result in a huge impact in how the game looks with basically no effect on performance. For example, 108 on very high, all the way back down to low, we're still at pretty much the same FPS, but higher up is a free quality boost. Texture streaming speed, I assume more has to do with SSDs and hard drives, things like that, maybe stuttering. For the most part, leaving this all the way up should result in textures loading in faster, things like that, and overall a better experience. I think you only really need to lower this on systems where the game's installed on a hard drive, for example. Anisotropic filtering shouldn't have any effect on performance, cranking this up. 106, 107, yeah, we're about the same, and textures should look quite a bit better. As for the rest of the options, loading range, I'd recommend far, geometry quality, medium, foliage density, on a very low, volumetric fog and clouds, both low, shadow quality is quite annoying when it's set down to the lowest option, as you can see up here, but if we raise it to medium, we shouldn't really see a performance impact, and directional shadow quality as well should result in a big improvement in how everything looks. It's way less shimmery, and this is way, way better, with basically no performance impact. Then lighting quality, low is fine, but medium shouldn't result in an FPS hit at all, at least on most systems. Reflection quality on low gives me 100 FPS and medium drops me down to 95. If you're going to be raising the reflection quality, medium is as high as I would go. Here's low, for example, as anything above that is probably going to tank your FPS. For me personally, I'll be leaving it on low. Shading quality, I'll set to medium. Post-processing quality doesn't really affect performance. Very high is fine, and motion blur I leave off, but this is a preference thing. And yeah, with that, you should see a pretty big improvement in how the game looks. Post-processing has a massive effect on coloring and things like that. And just like that, you've got better than lowest graphics options FPS with a way, way better looking game. Input latency and things like that is almost completely fixed, and this game feels way more playable than it did literally just seconds ago. But yeah, that's really that. We've covered basically everything we need to in the in-game options. There's not really anything else that we need to do here, other than maybe on the audio tab, I'd recommend setting your preset based on whatever system you're running. Hi-Fi is the best for most systems, but it's definitely worthwhile looking through these just to see what other options are available and whichever one may better suit you. For example, quieter explosions, louder footsteps, compressed is a good option for that. Finally, if you're going to be playing with friends, network and social, I'd recommend checking up on your push to talk settings and making sure that this is turned on, as well as changing your control keybinds just to make sure everything matches what you're used to. At this point, the game should be way more than playable with some really good FPS, which is fantastic. Obviously, there are a few ways to get more FPS as this is an Unreal Engine 5 game. We can do some engine tweaking and things like that, but for the most part, I'll be skipping over that as the game has quite literally just released. I would recommend keeping an eye on Nexus mods or similar modding websites as time goes on as there's usually a couple of performance mods and things like that that'll be released. There's a few here already that do some really basic engine tweaks. You just download them and drop them in your game files or documents folders, things like that, and you can usually see a pretty small performance boost. The game is just released and the ones that are here seem to be based off of other Unreal games and while they do affect performance in some ways, they're obviously not optimized right now. So I'm merely just mentioning it, it's probably worthwhile checking to see once in a while if anything super important has been released and some great optimizations have been made. But yeah, with that being said, this game is still brand new to expect some performance improvements in the future as development continues. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name is Shoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.